Well, I was not sure I was gonna be filming another clothing subscription box, um, and I'll talk about that in just a minute, but I got one in from a daily look. The same day that I requested the Stitch Fix, I saw, you know, you start getting ads when you do stuff online, and I have never actually tried daily look before. So I went ahead and signed up, got my box in. Um, so let me go ahead and show you guys, but I don't know anything about daily look at all. So I'll just have the link in the description box if you guys want to check them out. But the reason I wasn't sure if I was getting one coming is I got a text message from them because you give them your information saying that my box is ready and I needed to review it. But when I clicked on it, it would not let me log in at all. So I tried to email them and never got a response, but then this showed up on my door. So I don't, <laughs> I'm sure it, you know, I did something, I don't know, maybe I accidentally put in the wrong email and we'll figure it out. If I like pieces and I wanna buy them, we'll figure it out. Um, so we are doing this together. But here is my bundle. I'm actually getting two more clothing things in. So I cannot wait. I just wanted to try a couple different ones to see, you know, going forward if I wanted to stick with it or, you know, what, what not. But here's my bundle. Definitely more than five pieces, which is fantastic. I love the option of getting more. Oh my gosh. I, oh my gosh. I'm a little nervous about the white just because I am not a very, like, clean person when I eat. You know, I've got pets in the home. Um, so a little nervous about all this white, but the, the colors are absolutely beautiful. And look how they tie it up with a bow. That is so cute. Oh, I really love this blouse. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open my little package here. So my personal stylist note, return instructions. Again, this is daily look. I have never tried daily look before. So let me go ahead and open this up. All right, so I think I copied the same exact note I left for Stitch Fix to daily note or to daily look. So I think I put, you know, like work from home because I do um, work from home, you know, being on social media and all of that, but also like homeschooling the kids and stuff. I can't tell what these items are, but she, this Casey is who I got. She may think that I actually have like a, maybe like an office type job where I need to dress professionally. Um, just because of the note, it kind of makes it seem like that. She said she put a lot of work items in here. So we'll see, but I do love to wear blouses and stuff. So I, I feel like I'm, I'm dressed like business casual anyway, most of the time. Um, and then it makes it super easy. I've got like a little QR code here to scan. So we'll see when I scan it, if I don't have to like contact customer service. Um, and then it just has a little notes here. You have five days. So I think with Stitch Fix, you get three daily look, you get five. Um, but I don't see like a breakdown of prices, any other paperwork in here. I'm afraid of the prices because they don't show any, um, but let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and open this up and try some of the pieces on and Hopefully they're not too expensive because I, I do like Stitch Fix's prices where, you know, they're under 50 for the most part. I'm trying to look at any of these tags, but yeah, none of them have prices on them. <laughs> so we'll see. So I figured I would share with you guys, just like I did in the Stitch Fix video, what I'm actually wearing for today before I try any of their pieces on. So I have on this skirt that I got from Earthbound. It is very large and I have, am having to size down in Earthbound. Their, their stuff is oversized, like very loose, I feel like, and very stretchy. So it fits, you know, more than one size, I feel like. So I did size down in the skirt. And then this t-shirt I actually just picked up from Target a few days ago in the women's section. So it's a, I'll pull it out, it's a t-shirt. Um, I just tucked it in because this skirt is so long that I have it hiked up like Oh, above my belly button, like almost to my chest. <laughs> so I was like, okay. And then I didn't like the look of the shirt out. So I just tucked it in and kind of pulled it out a little bit. Just, I don't know. I, I like that. I thought it was cute. So, oh, and whenever I'm home, I'm always wearing slippers. So I've got slippers on all the time, but that is what I am wearing today. Let's go ahead and start trying on some of these pieces. Okay. So I have the jumpsuit on first and it is very comfortable but not my style. I feel very, I don't know. 
it just looks weird to me. <laughs> it just, uh, it does have pockets. Like, I mean, this is super comfortable, but I'm really afraid that these prices are just gonna be like super high. I'm not sure yet. I did try to scan the QR code and it says I'm having it like it popped up says having trouble signing you in. So I'm gonna have to contact their customer service and say, I don't know what happened if I like accidentally put in the wrong email or what, but um, I can't get in to see any of my stuff. <laughs> so hopefully it's not that big of a deal. It does show a lot of cleavage. Like I feel like the size is okay. Um, I'm not as super excited about how it accentuates my stomach area right here. I guess really it's, I mean, mainly from the side. I'm just, you know, still working on areas of my body. Um, but I feel like if I sized up, it would be too big right here, too loose. And it already shows quite a bit of cleavage. I feel like I would be pulling this up. So as, as much as this is very comfortable, I love that it has pockets. I just don't think it's my style. Um, I don't know. It is really comfortable, but I just don't see me <laughs> reaching for this, but it might, it might be somebody else's. I think the Oliver print is really, really cute. And again, like it is very, very comfortable. Like it feels very nice. It's, I just, I don't know. It, it's just not me. All right. We are O for two. So I really like the color of this. Um, also feels pretty comfortable other than it just being so tight right here at my midsection. I do not like that. Um, and I don't know what these are. I, at first I thought maybe there was another one like supposed to be there and you're supposed to like cinch them and tie them kind of like a nautical thing, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with them at all. So I, I mean, there's no way you're supposed to like tie them here, right? Cause that's kind of weird. Maybe, maybe, maybe you tie them in the back. They just feel like they're more front than the back. I, I don't know. Um, but I like the color love that it has pockets. The length is perfect, but it just is so tight right here that it accentuates a part of my body that I don't want accentuated. So <sighs> zero for two so far, I will not be keeping this one either. Okay, this one I don't hate, but I do not have the correct bra and I'm not gonna go out and buy one just for this dress, but I don't really wear, this is more like a halter, which it's very, very comfortable. The print is very fun. It is a little shorter than I typically wear. I feel like, I mean, I always wear shorts under my dresses anyway, but I have a vacation planned for later on in the summer and this might be perfect for that. So. This is a maybe depending on the price. Um, and I could always either wear, I could wear something over it, like a little vest or a cardigan or a jean jacket, something like that. Um, but I, I think the print is fun. It is very, very comfortable. Uh, I will have to like walk around in it for a little bit though, because I don't, I don't know about the length. I always feel it's so thin that I feel like I don't have much. I, I guess it is a little longer than it feels like. It just, I'm afraid like it's gonna go woo, you know? and show my goodies off to everybody. But th this one's this one's a maybe, again, depending on price. And I'm gonna try it on with a few things um, in my closet and see if I can make it work. Because again, I don't have the type of bra. I just have normal bras. <laughs> I don't have like um, strapless bras or I am a little heavy chested here or halter bras or anything like that. They're just all normal. So it just depends. But I, I like the print. It's very, very fun. And it is very, very comfortable on. Very lightweight. Okay, so I've got two different pieces on. These shorts are so comfortable. They are very forgiving and super stretchy. They almost have like, it makes you think of maternity band. I can't really show it with one hand and I'm using my other one to hold the camera. But these are, what brand is this? Democracy, they're a democracy. So they are very, very comfortable. So again, depending on price, um, this shirt, I don't like. The fit is very weird. Like it feels, I don't know, I just don't like it. It's 100% polyester, so it feels nice against my skin. Um, again, a little nervous about the white, but I'm not digging the tie here. I don't like how it looks. Like I have a shirt that has a tie right here, but I snipped it off. Um, so I don't, obviously I'm not going to do that if I'm not keeping this shirt, but, um, I would definitely like it without this tie here, but it feels off. Like it's not fitting my shoulders correctly. It's pulling a little bit. Um, so I'm not a hundred percent in love with this shirt other than like, it feels really nice. So 
The shirt is a no, but these shorts are very, very comfortable. I like the length too. It's more like a, a mid thigh length. So gives you a little bit more coverage if you're, if you're wanting that. So the shorts are a yes, depending on price. The shirt is a no. All right, I kept the same shorts on. This shirt is, is a no. I'm not a fan of the style um, and it is completely see-through. I mean, it, it you, you can see me um, and I feel like it's a little too thick to layer up for the summertime. So if I were, I could wear a tank top under here so you wouldn't see everything, but this is a little thicker material, even though it's super holy. Um, and I feel like it would just make me hot in our summers. I love the little knot detail. I think that's super cute. Um, but this up here, I'm not digging. I don't really like these kinds where, like I said, I wear regular bras. Let me move my hair. So you would see my bra. Like, I feel like this is supposed to be like pulled off your shoulders maybe. And I'm just not a fan of that. I mean, it's, it's cute. It's just not my style. So another shirt that is getting a no from me. All right, so I have the jeans on now and I don't, I'm not 100% sure about them just yet. They're very comfortable. I kind of like how they flare and they have, it's not a raw hem because it is, it does have a, what is, my mind just went blank. It is sewn up down there. Um, these are like pull on jeans. So this button is faux. There's nothing here. The pockets are real. Um, it took me a second to pull them all the way up <laughs> to get them over my hips, but once I got them on, they're not super tight. Like they, I can move around and it feels okay. Um, I just feel like it shows a lot of, again, my, my little pooch right here, and that's an area that I'm still working on. So it just depends on how much I love these. Like they are very, very comfortable. I don't know. I, I may keep them, again, depending on the price. These are Liverpool. I think I have a pair of Liverpool from Stitch Fix. So it just depends on the price comparison there. Um, this shirt, I may see if I can get a size up because the, I don't. I didn't look up the brand on this shirt. It's probably on the other tag, which is on my back maybe. Um, but this one runs very small on the chest. So like I mentioned, I am heavy chested, a little bigger on top. And so it's very tight right here. But other than that, I love the detail. I like the lacing right here, the V-neck. I love the lacing on the sleeve right here. Very, very pretty. Plain black, which is really pretty. Also has these little slits. Let me get closer these little slits on the side here, which is super cute. I like the little details on this shirt, um, but it is pretty tight right here. I feel like I'm being sucked in. <laughs> so um, I may have to see if they have an extra large. I got all larges and tops because that's what I'm typically fitting in right now. Now all brands are different. And then these are 12s on the bottom. So all in all, I love this combo together. I like the tank. Um, I just, I may have to up the size and see. Um, and then I'm going to think about these pants because I can't stop looking at my pooch here, but they're very comfortable and I don't have any pairs that like flare out like that at the bottom, which I think is a cute detail. Next top. I don't hate. It's very comfortable. It's cute. I love the color. Oh, I totally could have buttoned one more. I don't like buttoning, buttoning all the way to the top. Let me see. Okay, there we go. Um, but it's just not my style. I think it's super cute. Uh, it's also see-through. I would have to wear a tank under here or like a little camisole. Um, I think it looks really cute with the pants. I could imagine it with sandals. It's a little more preppy, I guess. I don't know if that's what you would call this style um, than I'm used to. So I may think about this one. I may go ahead and put it on later on with a tank top um, and some sandals and see, but it's not, this isn't typically what I wear, not my style, but it is very cute. Sometimes I guess it is fun. Like if I really wanted to just push myself out of my comfort zone into a different style, maybe it would be nice to have this in my closet, but I'm really trying to only get pieces that I absolutely love and I'm comfortable in as my body's changing over the year. So, well, you guys will have to let me know what you think about this one. Like I said, it's very comfortable. I just, it's not a hundred percent my style. So I, I'm torn on this one. If you guys watch my stitch fix video. I had my doors closed to prevent a ton of animals from coming in, but these two, these two. Okay. Last top. I saved this one for last because I thought I was going to love it the most. And this is definitely my style. I love the print. The color's really pretty. I don't have this color in a top like this in my wardrobe. Hold on. It got kind of dark there for a second. Um, and I like, it is, 
I have to like make sure my bra is tucked in, so I just have to keep an eye out on that. Also, like once when I buy things that have these, I do take these off, these little clear hangy tabs. So I forgot to tuck that in. My bad. It's gonna be hanging out for a second. Um, but I also go back and forth. So I don't wear a lot of necklaces because I don't like things around my neck. And this is right here. It's not bothering me right now, but I could see it. There, they're playing. I could see it maybe starting to bother me. I don't know. I may have to leave this on for a minute or two and just see if it starts to bother me. But this is definitely my style with some flip-flops, some sandals. If it's chilly, I throw a cardigan on and I am set to go. So I'm definitely loving the look and the color of this. It just, the fit, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to keep it on for a minute and see. Okay, I'm popping this in here because it is still the same day. Um, I ended up calling a daily look and it was totally my fault, I guess. I'm so used to doing autofill that it put in a different email that I rarely use and so that was, that's what it was. It was under a different email. Um, but yeah, daily look is more expensive than Stitch Fix. Um, also, the styling fee is $30, but you do get that credited onto whatever you end up keeping. And then they have something different. So I'm like at my computer right now reading so I don't forget anything, but they have a thing going on. I don't know if this is, I'm assuming this is all the time because it doesn't say like limited deal or anything like that, but you get 50% off one item when you keep three and that 50% automatically gets taken off the least expensive item in your, what you're keeping. And then if you keep five pieces, you get two items at 50% off. So that's kind of cool. However, their prices, so I'm definitely not keeping the button up because I don't see myself wearing that a whole lot. It was $68. Um, Liverpool was the brand. Um, the jeans, the high rise crop flare, I can't make up my mind if I wanna keep because I've never paid over a hundred pair, a hundred dollars for a pair of jeans, but I've paid 98 and they're 108. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know uh, how much I love them. They're Liverpool also. Man, I need to turn the fan on. I am sweating. Um, trying on clothes is a little tiring. So I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna keep anything to be honest because the prices, I, I knew it. Like I had a feeling they're a little bit of a shock. Um, the oatmeal colored dress that I liked, it was just too, top, too tight, $78. Um, I'm not keeping that swing tank dress either because it's $125 and that, I feel like that is way overpriced. So I don't know what that brand is, Veronica M. Um, but I, I don't know about that. And then let's see, the split neck tie blouse, the 100% polyester, $118. The boat neck twist top in white was $78. Um, and then the high neck sleeveless printed top that I really like is $72. And I have paid that for a blouse off of Stitch Fix before. It's just been a hot minute. Um, and so I'm not, I'm just not used to paying those prices for clothes right now. <laughs> I've been shopping at much cheaper places, the black, Veronica M lace tank, I it's $95. So that's that's a quick negative, no. Um, and then the Democracy shorts are $78. And I don't know if I've ever paid $78 for a pair of shorts before. Um, so I don't I don't know what I should do. I might return it all, but then I lose my $30. That's how they get you. Maybe I'll just keep one thing um, so I can use my $30 since I've already paid it. Uh, and then that jumpsuit, $95. So... I really like the shorts, I really like the jeans, and I really like the top. And that's three pieces. This is how I talk myself into doing things. So let me go ahead and go through this as if I'm keeping it. Um, I am gonna say too much for the price though, just so they know. Like, I love the style, I like the quality, but the price is ridiculous. That's why I say on anything that's high. Um, and then let me do the shirt. The price is high. Let's see, the price is high, but I love the style. And the quality is probably really good. And then the shorts. Too much. <laughs> They're like, it's you're clicking too much, but you're still keeping it. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay. So let me see what that does. It has my personal information, otherwise I'd turn you guys around. So, yeah. We're doing this together. Um, it's also like the sun is just shining on me. I feel like I'm sweating. 
I'm like uncomfortable with th these prices. Uh, so the subtotal for actually, oh wait, that's counting everything. Never mind. Hold on. I'm not done. $210 for three pieces. That's with my, you know, store credit because you have to pay a, what do they call it? The box fee or whatever to get it. Um, and then I guess they took 50% off of the shirt. Was that the least amount? So $36 was that 50% off. Tax is $18.32, but obviously everybody's tax is going to be a little different depending on where you live. Um, so $210. I don't know if I want to pay that for three pieces. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You know, I do have a ton of jeans. I don't need the jeans. We're taking those off. Returning the jeans. Let me see if that price makes me... Okay, $132. I really love those shorts, and I really like that shirt. Um, I like those jeans. I just... No, maybe I should try thread up. I've never actually tried thread up before. Have I? Have I tried thread up? Maybe for the kids. Um, maybe I should try thread up. I just really want some more pieces in my closet. Um, I'm gonna think about this. I may keep the top and the shorts. I may just get the top because I, I really don't need need bottoms right now. I'm fine with wearing the same ones all the time, but I like to mix up my tops. I don't like wearing the same tops all the time. Um, so I may just get the top, but anyway, it's pricey and I don't think I'm going to use daily look anymore. I know a lot of people, I, I well, daily look has a lot of commercials out there saying like how they're so much better than stitch fix. And I don't know if it's just because I'm used to stitch fix. Um, but I do feel like the quality at stitch fix is great and the prices are a lot better. <laughs> so, um, with that, we're going to go back to me when I was trying everything on. All right, so what did I count? One, two, so four out of 10 pieces, four definite no's, just weren't me. Um, one, two, three definite yeses. I am loving these jeans. The longer I'm keeping them on, they feel very comfortable, and I love them a lot. Um, and I do like this top too. I've, it's been a couple minutes. I like walked around and I was like, you know what, that's really not bothering me. I really like it. I love the print and the color. Um, so the jeans, this top, and the shorts, Definite yes, that's three. I think this dress is a definite yes too. I really loved it. It was very comfortable. I can see me wearing it on some vacations and stuff like that around the house in the summertime. So four definite yeses. Um, and I don't know about this one. I, I can't make up my mind on the button up. I should try it on with a tank top and leave it unbuttoned and see how I like that look. Maybe I'll do that or like a blouse like this, not this one because I don't really like these colors together, but um, I have a couple other sleeveless blouses that I could try on with that and just see how I like that. And then I do really like the black. I just want to see if they have it in a size up, like an extra large maybe, just because that one, whatever brand this is, does run really tight against your chest. Like this one is not, I mean, it's it's tight, but not like this. I don't feel like I'm squeezed in. I feel like it's form fitted. This one was very tight and I don't see the a second tag, here we go. Veronica M is the brand on this one. But other than that, if you guys just like getting clothes in the mail, I feel like I could be totally wrong. I just, these look more expensive to me than Stitch Fix. Although like Stitch Fix has great brands. I have pieces from like box number two and three in my closet. Um, so the quality is fantastic. I just, I don't know, maybe just trying these on, I just feel like they look more expensive. So we'll see. Um, but if you guys have tried Daily Look, let me know down in the comments um, how you like them. It was fun trying this many pieces on. I love that. Um, but like I mentioned in the Stitch Fix haul, I wasn't I wasn't sure that I was getting this in, so I didn't know that this one was coming in because of the miscommunication going on, but I do have a Shein coming in. A lot of y'all said yes, film that, so I am gonna be filming that. That may be the next one, we'll see, but I also went ahead and asked for Trends, Trends End by Evereve, is that it? I've used them before a couple times and I really love them. Their stuff is a little bit more pricey, so we'll see what they send, but I totally went out of my comfort zone with Trends In. So that box is coming as well. And maybe, you know, after that, I'll be set for like this spring and summer months um, as far as just updating my wardrobe because I did get rid of a lot and I could get rid of more. I'm just hanging on to pieces that are oversized, but I love them so much that I'm just gonna wear them around the house with like leggings or something. 
Um, but I don't have a ton as far as uh, outfits to wear out and about. So I'm excited. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.